Hello everybody, I'm Chris Solds and this is... I'm Dan. And we're here with a Box Busters for 2012 Topps Inception Football. What's the uh, lowdown on this bad boy? <laughs> Not a lot of details on the front of the box. Well, one box slash pack will set you back around 100 bucks. Yeah. And just like previous years of Inception, lots of on-card autographs. Mm -hmm. In each uh, box or pack that costs 100 like I said, you we should get... Three hits. If I'm not mistaken, one mem card and two autographs. That's cool. And of course, there's a lot of autograph mem cards in here, a lot of jersey That's a autograph huge cards. Pack. It's very thick. I think it's all the cards are on premium it's stock, I thick. believe. Uh, yeah, last year. of course. It's very similar to last year's inception as far as the the stock goes and the okay. look and feel of it. It's a real kind of high end look. Um, it's I'll show you. Well, let's just go pack yeah, for go, pack. Yeah, I'll show you my first. pack. Uh, I think you get three, two or three veteran cards, seven total cards. So my first uh, veteran card, Larry Fitzgerald, and they, the base cards are not serial numbered. As you can see, it's kind of a high-end look and feel, real similar to last year's as far as the design goes. The backgrounds are, uh, are lifted off the player images, and the player images are actually... Um, stylistic and, and yeah. artwork for them. HDR, so uh, high dynamic range photography where it shows bright contrast and detail. So all the weird little things you wouldn't no normally notice are all shown. All right, very good. I got a blue parallel of uh, Aaron Hernandez, number 252. Print runs are kind of odd like that, 252 instead of 250. This is an interesting product. I have quite a pack. How about a serial use. number to 123, Rob Gronkowski, to keep up with the Patriots uh, cool. tight ends theme here. And I've got two <laughs> two autographs. Unfortunately, one's a redemption in my pack, a Bernard Pierce a rookie jumbo patch gold. Show it anyway, even though it's a redemption. And then I've got an on-card autograph of Robert Turbin, and this is a rookie autograph card. Again, I'm looking for the serial number. It's a little bit hard to read. There is no serial number on the base hmm. cards. Base autographs are a little unusual. but. And then I've got for my patch card a jumbo patch of uh, Ruben Randall. And that is numbered of 25. So all in all, it was an okay pack. Not sure I got 100 bucks worth. Yeah. But uh, if I get that Bernard Pierce um, autographed jersey card jumbo, it could be uh, pushing it. High end packs can, can be high risk, high reward. Yeah. He got the high risk pack. You got the high reward. I got reward? the high reward oh, pack. Oh, okay. All right. It's well. gonna be it's kinda scary. So here we go. <laughs> I'll I'll delay all the good stuff. Calvin Johnson base card. The Garrett Blunt base card or blunt. I'll be the guy who mispronounces names now. Let's see here. Frank Gore parallel out of 252. Yep, that's a blue parallel. I mean, this is this is quite a big one. Green should, parallel. This is probably contest worthy coming up for the next magazine. <laughs> okay, it's that big. Right. Marcus Colston emerald parallel, I believe, or green, whichever mm -hmm. color. Not a ninety nine. My first hit is a patch autograph of Ronnie Hillman, not numbered. Okay, fair enough. That's part of the base set, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, nice looking card with the swatches. I'm gonna lay, save the best one for last. Okay. How about a Ryan Broyles patch card out of 210? Yeah, that's a good looking card. But the last card, it's a big this one. This makes the pack? Oh, this, this is a case maker, if not more. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's a uh, dual autograph of the top two picks in the NFL draft, numbered out of 25, signed on card. A couple of guys you might have heard of Andrew Luck. And Robert Griffin, the I think third. that's a decent card. <laughs> it might be. It might be might a good card. Might just be okay. Might be worth a hundred dollar price of admission for this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See, that's the it thing. It may pay for both of our packs. Yeah, probably. Pro yeah. Probably more than that. I haven't looked myself, but. Well, we'll make that's sure that uh, some uh, lucky Beckett customer yeah. or reader gets that for sure at some point look, here. Look for details in the next Beckett football. We'll promote it that I way. I like it. Yes. Yeah. That is a. Absolutely. That's a pretty. That, I think this is my second or third football box break <laughs> on film. Big pull, huh? Yeah, beginner's luck here, basically. That's a monster card. I wow. tell you what, some viewers might think that hey, we pull these kind of cards all the time, but we, we really don't. don't. Yeah. We really don't. A lot of 
the uh, card companies just send us random boxes, and, and quite frankly, rarely do we pull a card that even comes close to this. I know, so, I know. Uh, it's not like we pull, you know, a card of this magnitude even once a year out of all the sports exactly. and all the products that we open. Well, typically some of those draft pick sets will have one of those guys, maybe. I know, but it's not, not together. the level of tops, the number 25. I know. Yeah. What do you think? Card and all that. I haven't been on many football videos. What do you think of the heavy use of uh, premier patches? They're nice, but... It, it doesn't, unless you happen to get one or two that have a really cool logo on it mm -hmm. or something to that effect, the patch isn't nearly what it used to be as far right. in terms of collectability and they're reselling. They're nice, and, and stuff. people still go crazy for them, but they're it's plentiful. It's neat, but yes, it, they are plentiful. And like anything in this hobby, once you have a, a cool idea that starts to trickle out in packs and it's real hot, Eventually, you're going to overdo it, yeah. and we're, we're kind of to that point. I'm not saying they shouldn't do it, because yeah. what are they going to replace it with, just a white swatch? That's the thing, <laughs> and plus they still can get them, so I mean, that's the cool part. Is it, it does, It's not something I'd that's very... I'd still rather have one, a right, patch, but right. uh, it doesn't hold the uh, steam that it once did, and the hobby heat has sort of worn off of the, the so, whole idea. Well, it looks like it has some dirt on it. That's a, that'd be odd for a... Uh, <laughs> it would for the rookie photo shoot yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, well, that was a quite a... Quite a Inception, uh, I don't have a word for it, but a <laughs> surprising bust for me. So uh, look for that card, details on how you can own it in the next issue of Beckett Football. Look for Inception priced on o the OPG on Beckett.com sometime soon. Next in about week a week, or so. which would put, put you at the, towards the end of July. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Chris Soles. I'm Dan. And we'll see you then.